This is the Pepperdine basketball team. Cohesively taking a knee prior to their matchup against Brigham Young University, aka BYU. But of course, they were not the only ones protesting during the playing of the national anthem. Following in the footsteps of Colin Kaepernick, who was punished for taking a knee while a member of the San Francisco 49ers in the NFL, many have in turn done the same as number seven. In Bloomington, Indiana, numerous players from Rutgers University took a knee. After Donald Trump's domestic terrorists stormed the Capitol and attempted to overtake democracy for an authoritarian leader like the 45th president, the University of Maryland men's basketball team and the Iowa Hawkeyes basketball team both took a knee. Even John Calipari's University of Kentucky team knelt prior to their game against Florida. I'm Sheriff John Root here with my good friend, Jailer Jamie Mosley, uh, that uh, disrespected our American flag. I think about the program, Coach, until you can get these guys under control and lead by example. And these two schmoes, Jailer Jamie Mosley and Sheriff John Root were appalled, so they burned UK jerseys. Washington State basketball reacted as well. Taking a knee prior to their game against the Cal Bears. After this, coinciding with white militias storming the Capitol, sophomore guard Noah Williams tweeted, White privilege is all I can say. No surprise. One of the greatest six men in NBA history, Jamal Crawford, tweeted a near identical message to his followers. And that's because we know it to be true. Take, for example, the Black Lives Matter protests that took place over the summer and the response that police had to those peaceful protests. And then take another peek at what happened at the Capitol and you see two very different responses. Isaac reached out to me and he said they'd been discussing it, said they wanted to kneel and I said I have no problem with it, said Kyle Smith. WSU's head coach. It's America. We can express our beliefs in everything we want to do. So that was that. And here's the thing. This team is diverse. Seven players hail from countries outside the United States, including Nigeria, Ukraine, Slovenia, North Macedonia, the Dominican Republic, Canada, and Australia. So while the majority may not share the same background and experiences, they were empathetic to what Isaac Botten and other teammates felt last summer as protests erupted in response to police brutality against African Americans and again last week when mostly white rioters stormed the Capitol. These college basketball players who still cannot make a buck off their names and likeness while schools rake in huge chunks of money will not remain silent. The Tennessee Lady Vols took a knee after the domestic terrorists tried to keep Trump in office. I think with our platform, it's a good thing for us to speak up on something that we stand for, said Ray Burrell. It was kind of a spur of the moment type of thing. We didn't really plan to do it, but with everything happening yesterday and over the summer, we just felt that it needed to be done. From Kentucky to Tennessee, Washington State to Iowa, players receive tons of blowback from the locals, whether on social media or in public, just for taking a knee. Check those same social mediums and you'll see a far different energy as it pertains to white domestic terrorism.